Hey everybody and welcome back to Concept Journey. I'm André Pelais and this is episode 19. Okay, so for this episode I'm bringing you a sketch done on Photoshop. And the reason why I did this sketch is because I'm trying to find a comfortable way to work with line work with Photoshop since basically I only work with line work uh, on mischief these days. I really like that software. If you have watched my videos before, you know that. But I'm trying to develop a couple of brushes to work with Photoshop and do this kind of stuff. The reason why is because Photoshop, of course, has a lot of more, a lot more resources. And it's way easier to do, to transform any line work into a in painting using Photoshop without having to export and import this kind of stuff. And also, I found out that Mischief even though it's a very good program for line work, it's not that good for that marker technique that I used before. Seems like the software has a a way to encode the brush strokes different, differently. And when I transport the image to Photoshop, uh, it has a, a couple of bugs on the marker part. I still use it for the, the line art. I, I find the, the brush that it the pencil brush that Mischief has, pretty much the perfect one for me. But uh, I'm trying to develop a, a couple of brushes to do this on Photoshop instead. And I will try to make a brush pack in the future when I'm happy with uh, all of my all the brushes that I developed. And I will post that up when, uh, when it's done so you guys can grab it. Uh, the, the first one that I did was this pen brush that you will see me using during this video. And, and by the way, the brush that I'm using to do the marker pa pass is just a, a Anthony Jones brush. It's called Pen. I, I basically collect pen brushes from a couple of different artists. If you want, if you're interested in them, please let me know. I will link the, the artists for you. My favorite ones being Jamas Durabaev, I think that's his name, I'm probably butchering it, but Gemma's brush is very good, Mache também, Mache Kutsiara, it's also a very good pen brush, if you are interested. They are probably not called pen brushes on the brush pack that you get from them, but uh, you can find them on those brush packs. Uh, moving on to the subject of this video, it's a tank sketch, and even though I... I'm doing this just for for developing my brush work in Photoshop purposes. This this sci-fi tank that I'm sketching is an idea that I had on the yesterday morning. If you are if you are watching this on Friday, I had this idea um, on the Thursday, and it was my sketch from Instagram. It's basically a sci-fi tank inspired by the style of uh, Doug Chang's from Star Wars. Not necessarily inspired in, in the sense that my sketch looks like him, but a couple of his his marks on his sketches are very nice. I'm trying to work uh, a lot on these highly contrast images. It's something that I'm finding very useful and I'm trying to adopt into my style. If you are someone that follows me on Instagram, again, you probably already know this. I'm trying to find my own style and basically the, the final result of this video will be something that's very close to what I'm looking for. It's, it's a sketch basically done in three tones where my shadows and my outline is in black and the blackest part on my, on my drawing is just a 60% gray. I'm not using grad gradients or anything like that. It's basically a simple shape. I'm trying to work the um, how you read my sketches. So basically, if you look, at, at least that's my purpose. If you look into the sketch, even from a distance, you can already know more or less what the subject is based, based on silhouettes and contra contrast and value work. And well, that's what this video is about. If you are interested in how I do this sketch or anything like that, if you have any doubts, please let me know. So, that's gonna be it for today. I hope you liked the video, and if you do, don't forget to give it a like. 
and subscribe to see more in the future. Also, don't forget to share this video if you find it useful, as it really helps me out. Any comments, suggestions or tips, please leave them in the comment section below the video. And remember to follow my social media to see more of my work. I hope to see you next week, and thank you for watching!